Hey, what's up guys, it's Mario again. Uh, today I'm gonna go over three trades. I traded uh, Pinterest on today's earnings uh, on a first uh, bounce and I didn't make a mistake. I actually got a little bit greedy and I'm gonna talk about that because it did cost me money. Now I also uh, day traded um, Boeing as well as uh, Slack Technologies on a first green day type of trade. Uh, I'm gonna go also go over uh, some market fundamentals of, you know, how the market reacted today to yesterday's huge sell-off and explain uh, that a little bit uh, and how you know that correlated to today's uh, stocks that I traded. All right, guys, hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. Let's get started. Okay, let me share my screen. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so uh, Pinterest. Why did I day trade Pinterest? Now, this is a day one type of trade. I usually do not trade uh, day ones uh, because my edge is in uh, day twos, low hanging fruit. But, you know, we did discuss it today on our, uh, you know, group meeting, group chat, um, and it kind of looked like, hey, good opportunity. Um, you know, we talked about how uh, there was a range pre-market with high volume that, I mean, I, I thought that it was, you know, my thought process, this could be a, uh, a opening range breakout, but also at the same time, I did notice it had high floats and low short float, and that it was up over 30%. So I honestly felt, hey, maybe, uh, we kind of thought about it with the group. We honestly felt that it might actually sell off and maybe sell off and bounce off at the 6150 or 60, and then we kind of get it move up. Uh, but surprisingly, it actually or be in the morning. So there was a nice little move in the morning. So after that move, my thought process was, hey, I'm gonna look for a first bounce. And that's pretty much what I did. So. I was looking for a first bounce here at, at these levels. I got here at the, the close to the VWAP. I got it at 67.25. My uh, my exit was 68. I also had another exit at 68.40. So I took up took half in the first uh, sell. Had my stop and my entry, and I was looking for the 68.40 to get the rest. But it kind of pulled back right away, really fast. So that was my first trade. I had a pretty decent trade on that one. I was good with that. But then I got a little greedy. You know, you know, because my initial thought process was, hey, hopefully you can pull back here, get in a little bit first, first uh, get started chairs, maybe second started chairs, uh, maybe third. Uh, and this is like last worst case scenario, in case it gets, in case it kind of goes straight down. But this was technically the first bounce already. Again, this type of setup, guys, you know, you have to make sure uh, that once the first bounce is done, it's done. It's over. This is the first bounce. There's no such thing as second or third bounce, um, you know, because that high, the probability that it happened is very, very low. The uh, probability for the first pounds is a lot higher. It's like 70, 80 percent, uh, not higher. Uh, so I got greedy. You know, I wanted to make more money on, on Pinterest. It actually had a really good earnings. So I thought, that, hey, you know what? Maybe it'll hold the uh, pre-market pre -market highs or, or whatever, and, and uh, it will bounce again. Uh, I was wrong, and it cost me, you know, so... It just goes to show you guys that sometimes getting a little greedy <laughs> can cost you money. So I had a green trade and I ended up going red, you know, so I got a panic a little bit. I had, I bought this fixed five level and I started to sell little by little and I noticed it, it, it didn't want to bounce. So I literally had to sell everything and I took a loss in this trade, you know, went from having a decent trade to taking a loss. So upsetting, but learning lesson and, you know, um, moving forward, I'm just going to focus on second day continuations. Honestly, those are my bread and butter. Even though I do do trade, um, sometimes I do trade um, uh, uh, day one type of socks, uh, but very rarely, uh, this was just one that I thought, hey, it's possibility, let's do it. I just got greedy, that, that's really what happened. Okay, now moving on to uh, Boeing. So why did I did trade Boeing? Boeing has been selling off huge uh, and is uh, definitely overextended um, to the downside. If you look at the Bollinger Bands, um, and literally already broke below the, the, the bulge in brands. Uh, not only that, but it reported earnings yesterday and, and part of the earnings, it didn't mention that they're gonna cut uh, some of the workforce. Um, and that, you know, even though it's, of course, it's definitely not good for employees, uh, but investors see that as, okay, so they're cutting uh, on, uh, on back on, on the workforce. That means they're gonna reduce their costs that means their earnings are going to look a little bit better. So that's kind of almost an incentive for large investors to kind of get in uh, and, and things like that. So I was looking for a, a little bit of a bounce out of that area, uh, uh, 
first Green Day type of trade. It did kind of happen in a way, uh, but not how I expected it. Um, I was looking at this downtrend and kind of brick of this downtrend. Um, and I, what I noticed was this <clears throat> W <clears throat> bottoming pattern that I do like to trade uh, on these type of setups. So I noticed that and I, I kind of liked it. <clears throat> so I had a starter size after it broke, after it went green. And I decided to add on this 149. And I was actually looking for a bigger move. I was actually looking for this to kind of uptrend all day. And I was very surprised because the market uptrended all day. So I'm uh, very interested that uh, Boeing did not do that. You know, because if you look at the market, the market just went ham today. So it literally trended up all day, especially after yesterday's sell-off. Uh, I mean, this is a huge bounce, you know, in my opinion. Uh, so, you know, a lot of the fangs, you know, I, I think I would have been better off just trading the fangs because the fangs actually did pretty nice today. So, you know, up 4%, 5%, you know, look at some of the fangs. So, uh, I mean, look at Apple. Apple, I probably would have done a better job to trade in Apple. Look at Netflix. Well, Netflix has some news, but um, pretty much what I'm trying to say that, you know, um, surprising that Boeing did not make a bigger move than what I expected, you know. I did take half of the shares and I, and I took the rest off. I had my stop at the, my, my average entry. So I stopped out. I made decent money in this one. Uh, later on uh, there, throughout the day, uh, Boeing did announce uh, that they're actually selling some bonds to raise some money uh, because they're right now they're losing money. Um, uh, I, the truth is I kind of chased, you know, I was looking for a, a reclaim at 49 and maybe break out of 150. Um, and then I, you know, I felt like, you know what, this thing is breaking down, down breaking over this downtrend. So I felt like this, you can, can kind of trend the rest of the day for like a power hour trend. But at the same time, you know, it was overextended. And then I kind of came to my senses and I was like, dude, you know what, dude, you're literally chasing, man. You're chasing. And I, and I, and I saw that and I noticed it and, and I came to my senses and like, you know what, let me get out of here, man. I'm literally chasing. I'd rather just wait for the for the next day, and hopefully next day tomorrow we get a, a bigger move. So I'm glad I took it out, and I actually pretty much it was a scratch trade because it did pull back, and and I was and I was hoping even after a pullback that it was going to bounce and, and and go, but it didn't. So I'm glad I was out because I could have turned this green trade into a red one. So I was happy. I didn't want my greed <laughs> to to kind of cause this to, uh, to, to, to lose money. So I'm, I'm happy that I, that I stayed green on this trade. So now going to Slack. Slack, pretty much similar mentality uh, that a uh, uh, Boeing, you know, oversold on the daily chart. Uh, there's this huge level, uh, 26.50 on the daily. It looks really, really good. Um, and I also noticed there was a, a, a W uh, bottoming formation pattern intraday um, around this 26.50. Uh, so I really like that actually. So I went in uh, after after broke uh, out of this 2650. Uh, I was actually hoping for it to start trending and moving and kind of hitting the 28 2680 level, but it kind of didn't. It, it kind of started to kind of consolidate, 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 pull back, and it started to make lower lows. So after kind of broke below this, I was like, you know what? Let me take half because my initial stop was actually below this, went around 2630, 2633. But I just didn't like how it was moving, you know? And so I took half, it kept going lower and lower. I took another half and I left the rest uh, to see if maybe during power hour we could get a kind of another move, which we kind of did, thank God. So it started to kind of uptrend during power hour and I decided to add some other shares to go bigger uh, after a break of uh, 26.58, there it went green because I noticed of course the NASDAQ was, was trending like insanely. Uh, again, I, I would have done a lot better if I would have gone with, with the fangs, to be honest. Uh, that's something that I got to keep in mind. Again, this is a high volatility, high beta type of market. So you really are better off going with the fangs, going with high beta stocks like the fangs, Netflix, Apple, uh, Google, you know, uh, Amazon, things like that, because they literally just went ham today. So um, that's something I got to keep in mind. But, you know, Slack, you know, it, it, it kind of bounced, but, you know, uh, it was, it was kind of, it was, it was selling off here at 2670. I noticed at level two, there was a, there was a lot of heavy selling. So I took half off, took another half. And I was like, you know what? I, I went from red to green trade. 
a little bit green and I was happy with that. And I was like, you know what? I really don't care. I don't have the patience to wait. Uh, so I took it all off. You know, eventually it did hit my target, 2680. But at that point I was, you know what? I don't really care. You know, I took, I went from red to green on this trade and I'm happy with that. That's, that's all I care about uh, today. So I'm happy overall with my trading, except uh, Pinterest. That was literally just playing pain greed, you know, on Pinterest. So, I mean, I admit it. Uh, I shouldn't, uh, once I, I made the money on this trade, again, this is the first bound. There's no such thing as a second bounce, third bounce, et cetera. This was the first bounce and that's it. I should have just left it and, 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 and done, be done with this one. And I should have just focused on going or et cetera. But this is how you learn guys. So again, in trading guys, uh, there, there's no such thing as a perfect trader. Um, the goal is to win more than what you lose over time is to keep making consistent um, follow your process and keep, keep making good decisions on your trades, uh, taking profits on the lines, getting in on lines, or waiting for the price actions to, to confirm the move. Um, and also looking at the market, all those things matter, guys. Um, and then cutting back your losses, you know, when things don't work out the way you were expecting to work out, you got to cut half right away, you know, and, 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 and see how it reacts to that, you know. And that's exactly what I did with Slack, you know. Fortunately, it did kind of came back on during power hour and I did, was able to, you know, take it from a red, red trade to a, a green trade. So I was happy with that. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Have a good one. Now, please uh, click the, the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to this channel if you found some value. Uh, until next one, guys, have a good one. Take care.